Today on Nation, we're talking about packages and why you want them, why you should have them, and if you don't have them, why don't you have them? But either way, stay tuned to WCR Nation. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Jersey here from WCR, windowcleaner.com, and of course, you're here. What's going on? Thanks for spending some time with us. Thanks for checking it out. You got lots of episodes, so if you're new, go back, listen to a bunch of them, binge on them, and then text me and tell me you binged on them because I love those texts. Uh, if you are someone who is around all the time, what's up? High five to you. Thanks for always watching, thumbs up on YouTube, and of course, commenting there. Leave us a review, what the heck? Uh, but uh, share it out, tell everybody about it that you know, all of the one other window cleaners that you know, and uh, I really would appreciate it. Um, but uh, thank you very much. And if you are one of the elites, somebody who does all of that, and you buy your supplies through me, what's going on? It is because of you that I get to wear name brand socks. So thank you very much for that. If you want to be a client of mine, uh, 862-312-2026, that is my cell. So anything you need, uh, pressure washing or window cleaning related, I am your man. Just go ahead and call me, text me, put it in your cart. Shoot me a text, say, yo, Jersey, it's all in my cart, and I can go ahead and put that in for you. Costs you nothing extra, and it's like a virtual high five for me. So that's awesome. Um, and then at the end of the show, I'm going to give you a code for 5% off. Also, if you order from me, some stick around for that. Whew. But today, we're talking to the infamous Mr. Bobby Walker. What's going on, man? Not a lot, man. I got two things we got to talk about real, real quick, though. Yes. First one I talk about every time, every time we've done this. Yes. This white spot under my nose. <laughs> it's not cocaine and it's not powdered sugar. It's just old age and stress. It's just a white clump of clump of hair that just decided to land right there. So Dude, make fun of me all you want. Do you know you say that every time we talk and I yeah. always never see it until you point it out and then I see it. <laughs> well, it's because you know me and so it's kind of like you're just used I to know, it, you know. know yeah. Know. And uh and then the second thing is this. Guys, I'm just gonna shill for Jersey for a second. Don't don't you like do, you know, like what kind of person, you know, out there wants to do good things for somebody, like just to help someone out, you know, you raise your hand, right? And how much better is it to help someone out when it doesn't cost you anything? Your hand's still up. And what's even better when not only are you helping someone out, it costs you nothing and it makes things easier on you. Okay. So here's the deal. Every time I make an order from uh, WCR, I can go online and put all that shit in my cart and, uh, click the button or whatever but i don't you know what i do i send jersey a message and i'm like hey bitch i need these things and he's okay with me calling him bitch because he's like all i have to do is let bob call me bitch and i make a commission because he he does it so he puts it all in there he's got my card on file he knows the address i can say send it to the house send it to the office whatever he takes care of it you got, guys it costs you nothing and it makes your life easier and you're helping a man wear name brand socks so you that's right that. that's right so you get it i like it i like it you yeah. you got a guy you got a guy like i, I, I got a, a rubber guy i got a guy <laughs> <laughs> i love it tell everybody real quickly if they haven't seen you around which they had to have. but if you tell us about your podcast what you do what you're about yeah so uh kind of how I'm here, you know, like in this window cleaning industry, I, um, the really short story, almost three years ago, lost my job, woke up the next morning. And I'm like, ah, I'm going to go start a window cleaning business. Didn't know anything about it. I was just burnt out and I did it. And here I am three years later and we're doing it. Um, we, uh, I think we've had a great deal of success to be quite frank with you. I mean, there's other people that I know I have friends that have done better than me in, in a, the same amount of time. But uh, at the end of our third year, we'll have done a total of a million dollars in revenue if everything goes as planned over the next 60 days here. And it should. Um, so I'm really stoked about that, which this year would be half a million that, that we've done. And I've documented the process from day one. Like I was so stressed when I found out I was losing my job and started to do this thing. I'm just like, you know what? Um, I didn't want to come home and lay it on my wife every night, you know, and like yeah. stress her out. And my, I lived in Florida, just moved here, didn't know anyone. So I just started talking to a camera on my phone in my car, just saying, here's what I'm going through. And next thing you know, uh, I, I called it journey of a new entrepreneur. Three years later, there's probably like 250, 300 videos on there of just my life and success, failure and everything in between. And then we started a podcast and uh, it's called journey of a new entrepreneur. The podcast is about other people. So Jersey, you've been on it and it's about like my guests journey, 
yeah. as being an entrepreneur. It's not a how to thing And the YouTube channel. It's my journey. So, uh, don't tune in thinking you're going to learn a lot of shit. Um, I'm sorry. I'm cussing too. Am I cussing too much on your show? I'm <laughs> it's sorry. It's the end dude. of the day. We're recording late. It's been a long day. I get it. I get it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll stop. Uh, but, but, but it's, it's my life, you know, and, uh, and I have fun doing it. Except nice. for the people that are mean to me in the comments, two things happen. I get really angry and then I get really sad. So yeah. don't be mean to me in the comments, man. I, uh, I, it's very, it's very funny, but the comment thing doesn't, I don't get a ton of negative ones, but when I do, it's like, it's kind of like, yeah, like here's what it is. And it sounds super, I guess, cocky, but it's a way to kind of get above it. And I heard somebody say it once. They said that I have to care about you to care about what you say about me. And a lot of the people, I don't know somebody and it's, you know, J Sid 42 says you're stupid and you're ugly. <laughs> That's neat. Like, thanks yeah. for your opinion. I don't really care. J Sid 52 mm-hmm. or whatever, but, but they never say it to you at a convention. So no, 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 up, people always say, wow, you're a lot bigger than I thought you'd be. That's, <laughs> that's what people are. So I show up to, and I've actually confronted a couple of people. There was a guy who, uh, he would put all these comments about snore fast, boring. And then all of a sudden he started liking the show. And then uh, I talked to him and he told me his name. Oh, you're the guy who thought I was really boring. He's like, oh, <laughs> no, no. I was just, yes, that's fun. It's fun. If you're in the, <laughs> you're in the spotlight of an industry. It's, it's kind of what happens, but here's yeah, we're like, we're really, like really cool. F level celebrities. Yeah, that's that's right. Double F, double F celebrity. But um, you've created a million dollars from nothing. Like three years ago, you had not that you had nothing, but the company was nothing. You didn't create yeah. a company. Within that time, you created from nothing to a million dollars. Like your kid you created has made a million dollars. Like that's pretty epic when you think about that. It's cool. Uh, it it really. I mean, listen. Uh, I, I was having a moment today, like one of those moments where I'm like, this is freaking awesome. And, you know, and I'm not rich, you know, like doing a million dollars in revenue over three years, that's not a lot of personal income, you know, uh, not, not when you're hiring and scaling and stuff like that. It's a good it's amount a of, of reinvesting in the very, very beginning. It, so. it is. Yeah. But, but still, yeah, I'm like, just what you said, it's just like, I had, there was nothing right here and now there's something in there, you know, and, and we did it. You know, my son and I, we made it, we made it happen. And it's really cool. There's a great deal of um, satisfaction in that great deal of pride in that. And um, period. Yeah. I don't know what else to say. It's awesome. I've had, I've had employees have babies, you know, like get married and, you know, buy their first house. And it's like, not that you had the only thing to do it, but it's like, man, because of that job and because of the thing Mm -hmm. that you created, somebody bought a house. I don't know. It's cool. But anyway, on top of all that kind of sentimental thing, what we're here to talk about today is packaging deals. And you are um, kind of the king on that side when it comes to packaging things as far as uh, uh, um, services. And you were just telling me you're getting into kind of another service and putting Mm -hmm. those all together. It's huge. And I think that that's something that people really kind of forget about almost because um, so Responsibit exists. Good friends mm-hmm. of ours, Kurt Kempton has Responsibit. Mm-hmm. There's three packages and each package has a batch of stuff in it. One biggest, one smallest, and one in the middle, right? Yep. And I never understood that until I started using Responsibit and started to see what that actually does to people. And people just have their hand out waiting, you know, here's all the money I'm willing to spend on all these services. What of them do you do? You know, mm-hmm. here's the money for that. And I think that that's huge. I think people don't really utilize that as much. Yeah, no, they don't. And whether, whether you're using a software like Responsa Bid, which I'm probably the biggest Responsa Bid fanboy on the planet, <laughs> but uh, whether you're using a service like that or you're doing it, you know, let's call it old school and traditional on a piece of paper, it's something that if you're not doing it, and I mean the, this first word, I mean it in the most like, genuine term not not in an insulting way if you're not doing packages you're either uh ignorant and and that's i don't mean that you know you're just like it's just not something that you're aware of or know you're into the facts yeah Yeah. you're foolish because you know about it and you're not doing it and i don't know what a third one the third (laughs) one is three it's gotta be the third the third one would be you're stubborn which makes you foolish there you go and you're not doing. that's where most of us fall it's just (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so, pa- you know, packages and then like we can make the terms up what we want, you know, like response a bid, uh, just as an example, it builds packages 
And then um, you can do what they would call bundles. So a package could be like multiple options within the same service and then a bundle could be multiple services together something like that you know yeah. but um but let's just call it packages all the way through because i mean at the end of the day we're we're all kind of what what we're talking about um is a getting our average ticket price higher right so selling more uh making more money with less work yeah so that's that's the first thing we're doing and then the second one is we're we're actually going to help our closing rates or closing percentages when we're doing uh, packages because those packages validate you. They validate your company. They validate your quote with that customer and may pre prevent them from uh, getting another quote. Or if you are the other quote, they've already got, yeah. got another one. Um, it gives some credibility and some value to you because that customer now has options. The other guy gave them an ultimatum, which no one loves that. Take this or leave it. Yeah. Yeah. Right you gave them anything they want. Yeah. You can do the, you, you can be, I can't cuss. I wanted to cuss. <laughs> I was about to be, be, you can be a little cry baby and, um, and, and get the, the a la carte service, or you can uh, be a real man and get package C, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. and, and, but, but you let them pick that, you know, and, and Mr. Customer, if you're a, if you're a little cry baby, I understand. You just, get you're okay. And of course, I'm kidding on that, but you, yeah, yeah. You, I think you get my point, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Why, why when you go buy a car, can you get like the L pack, the LT package, or the RT mm -hmm. package, or the blah blah blah? You can go up and as crazy as you want. It just depends on what you want, but you have the option. If you don't have the option, no. then you feel like you're, like you said, being pushed one way or the other, even if it's something you don't want, just because that's yep. all they have. Yeah, and and I remember, so I started doing packages. Oh gosh, relatively soon into my, the business. So I, uh, I remember I added pressure washing around month five. So I started out doing window cleaning only. Yeah. So let's just say month five. I don't remember exactly. It's all kind of a blur at this point. Um, <laughs> no drugs, but lots of blur. And, yeah. um, the, uh, and I was doing packages before I added pressure washing. So, you know, so I was doing packages with window cleaning only. So, um, so how do you want to jump into this? Like what, 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 how are we going to get into packages here? Well, there's a couple different ways to do it. I think that if you, if you're watching or listening and you've never done a package or put a package together, there's really kind of my school of thought. And I don't know if yours is different, but my school of thought is I want to have one package that incorporates absolutely every single thing that I can offer. And mm -hmm. you know, everything next to a back rub too, like everything. And then I want yep. the one package to be on the other side of like the bare minimum. Like here's if you, gosh, I mean, if you got, you know, no money, this is what to do. And I have a middle package. That's where I really want people to go. And that's really kind of mm -hmm. the package system. Not everybody's going for the big, the big package. Not everybody's yep. going for the little package because they don't want to spend just the littlest. They get put into that middle one. And now you're almost, you're almost allowing them to pick the package that you want just because of the law of averages on three. Yeah. And I agree with you on that. And the beauty of it is when you build it. So here in a second, guys, we're going to back up and we'll kind of go for like from the very beginning, but, but as we're just kind of hitting the overview, the beauty of it is if you build those three packages, you can make any one of the three look like the most appealing one. Mm -hmm. So whatever you're wanting to do, and sometimes it might need to change depending on, the, the customer, the house, the needs, you know, things like that. Yeah. So, um, so just to run through a few basics. Okay. So let's assume for a moment that you don't just do window cleaning. And I know a lot of you guys that, are, that watch the show, you only do window cleaning. So we'll come back to that here in just a second. Yeah. We'll kind of back into that. But the, the first key to building packages, actually, this is probably the key to everything we do in life and business if we want success with it is consistency okay so you've got to do this every damn time yeah don't be a fool don't don't be stubborn don't you know you, you don't have the ignorant excuse anymore because yeah. we've already told you okay don't be foolish here do it every time because what's going to happen is well it's, it's the law of averages and when you do it every time there's going to be people that you don't expect that are going to want package c that will yeah. take it yeah. and it might only be one out of ten but package C could be a thousand dollars more than package A. So every 10 
quote, you know, sales you make, you might make an extra thousand bucks just because you offered it every time. Okay. Yeah. So consistency is the first thing. The second thing you got to do is you got to quote everything you offer, just like Josh was saying, but you got to do that every time. So every time you go do a quote, every service you offer, it's quoted, even if they don't need it. Yep. Okay. And some of you are probably thinking when I say that, uh, well, I don't want to sound pushy or I don't want to sound this or that. Listen, I, I've got a little line I use whenever I, because I tell the customer, I'm going to, if they call me because they want the driveway clean, I'm telling them, I'm going to give you the $4,000 paper ceiling quote too. You know, I'm doing everything. All right. Yeah. But what I'll say to them is, all right, so when we're done chatting, I'm going to walk around the outside of the home and do the this and blah, 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 and get my quote put together. And here's the quote form. And I'm going to run through everything on here and I'm going to quote it all for you. And I'm even if it's not needed, Mr. Jones. And so a good example would be, you know, if your roof, Mr. Jones was brand new yesterday, I'll still quote the roof cleaning today. So that way in the future, when you need it, now you can just call us and get on the schedule. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So now not only are you quoting everything, you're building packages, but you're also setting yourself up for easy sales down the road because they may not need it all now. They may not be able to afford it all now, but when they have those prices, now they've already got them. They're less right. likely to call someone else and get the quote. They're just going to have you come out and do it again because they've already used you once. So do this every time. That's number one. Number two, quote every service that you offer. And then the third one is uh, kind of the easy part is build the packages. Yep. So with, with my company, um, we basically do all exterior cleaning, roofs, houses, windows, in and out, uh, driveway, sidewalks, blah, 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 blah. So we build it all. So package A oftentimes is going to look something like this. It's going to be roof cleaning or house wash and then I'll add exterior you know let's say they asked for a house wash so I'll put a house wash and then we'll add exterior window cleaning because that's real easy for me to say well most people that get a house wash want their windows done because they'll yeah. be spotty afterwards and yada 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 yeah. and uh, and then package b is going to be like oh yeah and then now package b we're going to add the driveway and the sidewalk and the pool deck or something like that you know and that's package b and then package c is oh yeah and then we're throwing the roof on here and yada 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 now yeah what we do, and for, for those of you that are just so awesome out there that don't ever need to do this, just get over yourself for a minute, all right? You want to discount each package. Now, I know, I know some of you badasses are like, I don't discount anything, and I'm a man, and I don't, you know, I know my worth. Listen, it's a tactic. Raise your prices on your a la carte services higher than you normally charge, so that way your packages and your, your discounts on your packages are just your normal rates, Okay. It's a, it's a psychological thing. People want to bargain. Even the people that aren't price sensitive still want to bargain. So raise your a la carte prices. And then if you give a 10%, you know, raise everything 10% and then you give a 10% discount on your package, you're right back to where you were, but you sold more stuff. Okay. Yeah. And then, and then you can even change the, the, the discounts, you know, on each package if you want, you know, so an example would be, let's say the roof isn't really bad, but it kind of needs it and it's going to be an easy one to clean, and you just want to make it happen, you can throw that roof on package C, and instead of doing a 10% discount, maybe you can do a 15% discount. Yeah. Now, package C is heavily, heavily discounted, but it's one stop for the whole day that your crew of two or yourself or whoever, you can get it all done in one day without driving all around town, and you still get more money in your pocket. So yeah. that's kind of the, uh, that's how you make the packages. The why we, we talked about is to raise our average ticket prices and to um, kind of validate your quote. So do I need, you need to yeah. interject anything before I move no, on? There? Yeah, that, that's exactly it. The, the big thing with doing multiple service, if I can be at one house all day long because I did a bunch of services, I'm okay with not charging full price on all that because I'm doing so many services. You know, a yeah. lot of guys, like you said, that, that argue that fact of like, oh, I don't do discounts. Well, on one or a discount for no reason, fine. That's fine. Mm -hmm. But when you're discounting multiple services, you're actually saving drive time in between each job, your setup time, your teardown time, all of that, because you're doing it all at once. And you have one setup, one teardown for the whole day, as opposed to yeah. six setup teardowns because you're doing different jobs. Yep. So and you're already discounting stuff anyway. Yeah. You're, you're not the most expensive window cleaner in the world. So you're already discounted off of someone else anyway. So yep. just do it, you know, adjust your prices, make it, make it work. And yeah. then, um, and then again, you, you, you fix your uh, packages the way you want. You can put bigger, smaller uh, uh, savings on, on each one. So Yeah, there's, there's something too that's really pretty interesting in packages that, again, some of you people that are listening are, are a little bit timid to kind of do that. I had somebody say this, that's been a couple of weeks, but it stuck with me so much. And they said, well, we don't call our customers or send anything because I don't want to bother them. 
So like they'll do a job one year and the next year they won't call anybody. They won't email anybody. They won't send out letters because they don't want to bug them trying to get them to sign up again for service. Mm. That mind blew, that blew my mind. Cause that, I, I was, anyway, was, it blew my mind. Was, so was, I'm always, is his company so bad at what he does that it's a bother when he goes out and services a customer? I have no idea. And, I, I, and I'm being a little tongue in cheek when I say yeah. that. So if you're listening, whoever you are, let me just say this. They wouldn't have had you out the first time. Yeah. If they, well, you're that's helping not true. them with a service. If you did a good job, you, you helped them. Yeah. You're not bugging them. You're helping them and you're changing your family tree, bro. Yeah. You, you've got goals to achieve. You got lives to change. You got employees to, to help out. You don't have time to not want to bug someone. If they don't want to be bugged, they'll tell you, don't bug me. Yeah. So worst case scenario, you call them, you email them, you email them or postcard them and they tell you not to do it. And you're right back to where you are now. Yeah. But you will get, get work. dude, you've got to put in follow up sequences, whoever you are. It's huge. It's huge. But I always say that because now whenever I'm talking, I always bring this, that up because it, there's a lot of people doing things a lot different than, mm -hmm. than I'm doing it, which is cool. You can do things however well, you want, but I don't want to let, let me throw one quick thing out here on that note. And then we'll get back into packages. So yeah. uh, I had Joe Kowalski on, uh, recorded an episode for my podcast with him last night. He's the service monster CEO. And we were talking about repeat rates with customers, which is this exact thing. Yeah. Customers that come back to you. Okay. So he did the rough math. So I'm going to go real rough math, but he said, if, if you have two identical companies that are both doing $300,000 a year or, or whatever it was, and they were adding, I forget, it was uh, like 10 customers a month or something like that at $300 average ticket price and yada, yada, yada. One of them had a repeat rate of like, 20% and the other one had a repeat rate of 60%. So 60% of their customers used them at least one time. Yeah. Okay. In the future, seven years down the road with attrition and everything built in company a is still going to be doing 300,000 company B is going to be closing in on a million. And that 600,000 gap isn't just a $600,000 gap because all of those customers were free minus the cost of a postcard. Yeah. So yeah. there was no acquisition cost for them. You're killing yourself if you're not doing that. So anyway, yeah. back That's, to packages. That with packages too, is if you're not doing packages, you're not getting kind of, okay. It is cheaper to have someone that you already service or somebody that you are going to service, add more services or spend more money with you than it is to get a whole new customer. It's yep. easier. It's faster. It's cheaper. Cheaper. It's just the cost of acquisition is acquisition is way lower. Yep. Uh, but there's a, a, a famous thing that Ray Kroc, the, the, um, the main guy from, he's not, I don't know where it was Ray Kroc, wasn't the founder of McDonald's. He's the Technology guy though, College, yeah. But he's the guy, right? He's, he made it happen. He came up with something that after every order, they would ask, would you like fries with that? Mm -hmm. And it's a big joke in the end, you know, everybody's ah, would you like fries with that? It was kind of like a cliche thing. That is what skyrocketed their business because I, th I can't remember the numbers, but it was like 76% or something. Uh, if I'm wrong, comment down below. But it was 76% of everybody that they asked that when they bought a cheeseburger and a shake or a soda, which like fries with that, they go, yeah. So it added a French fry to 76% of the jobs, like to add more money. I mean, here's what I always say to people. If you go into a job and you're a pressure washer now, and you don't do window cleaning and you're looking to add window cleaning on or vice versa. You're adding mm -hmm. crush wash, whatever. If you go to a job and you're doing say a two ninety nine house wash and you're out of there, cool. Two ninety nine. But if you could spend an extra 20 minutes and do a window cleaning after that to the same customer, it would add another hundred dollars for that next 20 minutes. You've just increased your ticket price mm -hmm. by a third. You've increased that by $99 every time you stop. I mean, yeah. that's where packages that's are. Huge. You can increase that if you're not, you're just leaving so much money on the table. And it doesn't matter if you want to stay a solo operator or if you want to scale, it's, it's just, you're make. if you want to be a solo operator, you can work less and make more money. Yeah. And if you want to scale, it's going to help you do that that much quicker. Yeah. The, um, when I implemented it, I was actually doing window cleaning only. And, um, I remember I was listening to Josh Latimer talk about, you got to do packages. You got to do packages. And he kept doing preaching it. And I was thinking, well, I don't have packages because all I do is window cleaning. I can't add anything. And then yeah. one night, just a stroke of genius hit me. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. So I built three packages. Yeah. So what I, so what I, I stopped when I'd go to someone's home. 
I stopped saying, oh, do you want to quote for outside only or inside and outside? Do you want screens and tracks included in that? I stopped asking that. Yeah. I, they would call and want to quote for window cleaning. So I'd go and I'd meet them at the front door and say, I want to walk around the outside and give you a quote. And they say, okay. And I didn't even want them to tell me what they were going to do. Yeah. And package A was outside only. Package B is outside and inside. And package C included screens and tracks with the outsides and the insides. Yeah. So those were my three window cleaning only packages. And I actually, I'll never forget this. I still remember this customer. I can't think of their name off the top of my head, but they're in the Dr. Phillips area here in Orlando. The first home I went to that, uh, that, uh, when I created my little quote form and did the package thing, yeah, they asked for outside window cleaning. They picked package C. So it went from, let's say maybe 200 ish dollars to about $700 or something. Like. Yeah. It was a big, big, big yeah. change. They picked the package C and I was like, Oh my God, I'm going to be rich, you know? And yeah. they actually still use us to this day. They've used us probably four times, you know, since then. But, um, so you, you do a, B and C and, I don't really know what my average ticket price was before because I wasn't tracking that. And I don't even know exactly what it was like when I did that, but I can guarantee you it damn near doubled it. Oh yeah. And because what happens is the people that a lot of people, they just, they think they want outside window cleaning, but then when they see you do the other, Oh yeah, we'll we'll do the other. No, it's only this much more. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just do that. Yeah. Cause they see a tangible number. mm -hmm. They can make a decision. Yes or no on a number. Yep. They don't need to make a yes or no on an imaginary number that they're stewing in their head. Exactly. And then the, and I'll try to get to a couple of points because I know you try to keep your show s- short here, Josh, um, <laughs> which you should know better if you're going to have me on. When I, when I have you, it's open. <laughs> no, this program that we're using will actually cut us off at 45. So. Oh, okay. Okay. Dude, <laughs> the paid version is only $10 a month. You guys, come on, get the paid I version. I don't, uh, I don't do enough <laughs> interviews to make it make sense. I have to. Okay. So, so here's the deal real quick. Uh, what you're going to find probably is about two out of 10 people pick the big one just because. So yeah. out of, out of all the sales you make, you're probably going to get two out of the 10. They're going to pick package C because they're package C people. And which by the way, they weren't going to pick and tell you to do everything before. So these are two people out of 10 that mm-hmm. are now doing all of this service when they just called you to do an outside. Yeah. It's, it's there. And they're the, the, they're the kind of person that's like, Oh, why well, can't pass up a deal? Yeah. You know, they, they have discretionary income and they're like, I can't pass up a deal. So, so you're going to get that. Now, here's the second thing about packages. That's great. So yes, you make more money when you're selling packages. The second thing is you will close more jobs and I can't go too deep. You need to have Kurt Kimpton talk about this sometime yeah. on your show. I love but. this theory we were talking about before the show. This is like a genius theory, by the way, I never yeah. thought of it this way. And I've done packages for mm-hmm. 12 years. And I, and I did packages for a long time before I knew this, but you know, Kurt's actually done the studies and the research. It's like what his whole company revolves around. Yeah. But he says that when you're offering packages, you're validating your own prices against yourself. And, yeah. and what he means is if you go to someone and you give them the ultimatum, okay. Oh, you want inside and outside windows and screens. Okay, great. Here's your price for that. So you give them a price for what they ask for. Now you're not trying to be mean and give them an ultimatum, but that's what you're giving them. Yeah. Here's your price. Boom. Take it or leave it. <clears throat> yes or no. Yeah. yeah. And now they got to look at it and some people are going to say yes. And, but a lot of people are like, Hmm, yeah, I need to get another quote or something mm-hmm. like that. So they, um, when you give the packages, now you have a, B and C and I would recommend not doing more than three. <coughs> the law Excuse of threes me, exists. I'm telling you every, yeah. every is better in threes and you give them those packages now what happens is even though each package is different stuff so for me package a has a roof and windows and package b has a driveway and package c has a screen enclosure yeah i'm giving them three different prices so now in their mind they have choices in their mind three quotes yeah and 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 they and they can compare oh well i wanted what's in package b i wanted that and they can see package A and they can see package C. And in their mind now, they have some perspective on what things should cost, but they're just comparing it against the same person. But psychologically, this really works. And now you're going to be, they're going to be less likely. It doesn't mean they won't, but they're going to be less likely to want another quote from someone. And, and I think I may have already said this at the beginning, but if you are the other guy, 
Okay. If you are the mistress, <laughs> you know, the other yeah, woman, yeah. um, that, you know, you're the second quote. If the first guys gave them an ultimatum and you come in with those packages, you look so much more appealing. Oh, yeah. And again, they feel like you're putting them in charge. They so, have options. People they have, have options. options. Yeah. The number one reason that a sale doesn't close is because people feel like they were trapped or forced to make that sale, make that decision. That's why people have buyer's remorse. They're like, ah, that guy, man, that shady guy, he just got, yep. you have three of them and you're not saying yes or no. Cause they're not going to say yes or no. They're going to say, I'm listening. B or C. Yeah. I'm listening to you. I'm sorry. Oh. I just, I'm having a, I'm having some nose problems. Here, no, so. that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. It's all that uh, white hair you have there. <clears throat> so, all right. Give, give me three <laughs> seconds. I'm going to go off screen. No worries. No worries. But yeah, they're not going to say yes or no. And that's the big kind of, you know, a lot of us go out and do bids and then it ends up somebody's like, no, yeah, you know what? I'm going with somebody else or I'm doing something else, but they're not now saying yes or no. They're yeah. actually picking one of the three choices. They, it, exactly. it changes completely. When you ask a question that is a yes or no, that's why people say open-ended questions in sales. You ask open-ended questions, it is can go anywhere. If you ask a yes or no, it, would you like a quote? It can only be yes or no. If there's a yes or a no, you have a 50% chance of being a no and you're completely out of it. Mm -hmm. Giving them three choices, you're not saying, would you like these or no? You're saying, yeah. which of the three would you like to pick? Exactly. You can ask them, and that's what you ask them at the end. That's kind of your closing line which one of these looks best to you? Yeah. Which one of these packages would work best for you? Um, a, a friend of mine that's actually amazing at door to door sales. He'll say, which level of clean would you like? Ooh, I like that. Which level of clean would you like? I kind of don't have the guts to ask that one. I don't know why that one's hard for me to ask. That's good but though. That's like, that's like, that's, that's a that, good that's one. Yeah. Polished. I like that. And, and then, so here's, here's a little tip guys. It's a little tip on that. So, uh, Josh, I'm going to throw a shameless plug. Is that okay? You should. I, I mean, we already talked about my YouTube channel and everything. So, yep, yep. Uh, Journey of a New Entrepreneur, I have a video called How to, how to Build Sales Packages. Um, we go a, little, I go a little more in depth. I actually show you some of the quote forms that I use and stuff. The one I talked about when I did window cleaning and stuff like that. Yeah. And um, so, go, go watch that. That'll help you dig in a little more. But um, the, uh, here's what I want to challenge you guys with. So, ask ask yourself this question as I'm asking it. Do you want to be better? Okay. Do you want to do better? Do you want your business to be healthier? Do you want your life to have more options? If your answer is yes, what we've been talking about for the last half hour or however long, do we got like half a minute left, Josh? What we've been talking about for the last 30 minutes here, it's, it's one of those little pillars that you can build a lot of your future on. Yeah. Yes. Packages are not, they don't change your life completely, but will more revenue significantly help your company? Will more yeah. revenue at no cost to you significantly help your company? Yeah. And will more revenue at no cost to you that actually is cheaper for you to generate because you're not driving as much help your company? The answer is yes to all of those, those questions. So here's the thing I want to challenge you is uh do it tomorrow yeah you know a lot of you are already building packages and if you're if you if you are already building packages do your your civic duty here and and comment you know in the comments here and say i'm doing it it's awesome and you need to also if you're not doing it and if you're not building packages call your shot put it in the comments and say i'm not building packages and tomorrow i'm going to build my first one you'll love yourself for it you you're you're going to you're going to send me and Josh a message and give us like a virtual hug over the internet and oh, say yeah. thank you for this guys we just improved your life if yeah. you will implement this thing so don't be a bitch implement this stuff <laughs> that's right yeah that, and you, you remember you're compounding everything that you do today compounds to what you grow or strengthen next year so you start doing packages mm -hmm. you increase these ticket prices you increase just the the level of closes that just helps you forever. That literally starting tomorrow helps you forever. Yep. That's, that's just a simple fact. Of it. It's too easy not to do. And, and um, you know, if, if you want to be responsible uh, as the steward of your business and the owner of your business and, and the guy or, or gal that's driving your family to, to new heights, you're letting yourself and all those people down if you don't implement this. And yep. I know that's a bit extreme, but it's just the honest truth. It's you true. will do better. And you'll make your life better if you implement it. So uh, I, don't, I don't mean to be over. You know what? I'm not being over dramatic. You know what? Here's the thing. I'm on the other side of the wall. I'm on the other side of the gorge. And it's awesome over there. Yeah. And I'm just throwing the rope to you saying, man, come over here. 
do this. It's awesome. <laughs> Even if you're my competitor right here in the middle of Orlando, yeah. do this stuff. Yeah, it is. It's one of those things. If you guys haven't uh, listened to uh, Bobby's podcast just yet, do it. It is awesome and filled with tons of information just like this. This is one of the best episodes we've done just because it's something that if you implement, it's going to grow your business. So go and do that. Go and check out his YouTube channel. Check out his podcast. Go to any event that you see him and just look at him with no sleeves on. It's just, it's a great thing. It's, uh, he's, uh, one of my favorite people really, but, um, uh, you're also going to be at uh, Responsicon. Uh, yeah. You're going to be speaking there. So that's in January in Arizona. That's awesome. So yeah, that is going to be awesome. Yeah. And just for those that don't know, I, and I, I make no money on this. I'm just a fan of the fan of the service. I love the guy that owns it and I want to help him out, but response con, yeah. it's actually the sales conference for the industry. So it's all about sales. It's all about marketing and that's it. You do not need to be a responsible user to, uh, to go there. So really, really good stuff. Super awesome. Yeah, definitely do it. We've been talking with Kurt a few times and uh, super, super awesome conference coming up, but uh, go and check that out. But uh, yeah, start everything just start the packages. I'm telling you, it is going to make your world that much better. You're going to make more money. And thank us when you make more money because of the idea. But either way, if I can help you in any way possible with ordering supplies or helping in business, my number directs 862-312-2026. That is a cell. So you can text me. I text all day long. Shoot me a text. Call me, whatever. Um, if I can put an order in for you, that would be absolutely amazing. Just like Bobby said. Why not have a guy? Might I can well be your it. guy. Josh, I'll take it from here. Guys, <laughs> if you're a good person, <laughs> you can do someone else a solid and it doesn't cost you anything and it makes your life easier. <gasps> Let Josh just, just say, Josh, I put everything in the cart, man. That's right. just, just run it for me. Or say, Josh, call him and say, hey, bitch, put all this in my cart <laughs> That's and he'll do it. Is. Yeah, yeah. It's easier. That's right. Look at these walls. See, I, I need nicer walls. These are all the paint is peeling. Oh, it's so it's, it's shambles over here. I need, <laughs> need some money. No, but really guys, I do really appreciate everybody who does. And there's so many of you that are super, super loyal, like Bobby, who will let me put every single order in every single time. It doesn't matter if it's big or small, do it. Your code this week is I love Bobby. If you could say I heart Bobby or I love Bobby or just Bobby in general, that's going to be your code for 5% off, but you got to order through me. So 862-312-2026. You tell me that code and you'll get 5% off, which is awesome sauce. Go and open up a conversation. Do talk about um, the three package deal thing. You're going to find out that it's amazing. And every single person who yep. does it loves it. And, uh, but until next week, go listen to Bobby's stuff. Go subscribe to everything he has to offer. Go start your packages. Call me with your supplies. And until next week, go out there and be epic.